our view on public-private partnerships is that it's one alternative, it's one program within many things governments can and should do to improve overall education effectiveness. And if there's evidence that they can be successful, how would they be successful? It's not a question of whether public versus private, but rather how can the private sector, existing private sector, b be brought into the, the uh, national system to make the overall system more effective? For some people, public-private partnerships mean uh, corporations supporting public institutions. The definition we used for, for our work um, in our 2009 report was the participation of the private sector in the delivery of public services. And we defined the uh, partnership more specifically in terms of a contract between the private actors and the public sector. Basically, a partnership agreement, an explicit contract in, in our definition, would include a, an agreement to, to share risks, which includes the responsibilities of each um, uh, partner. It would include a mechanism for setting um, goals and objectives and for defining measurable outcomes. And it would have a structure, governance, if you will, that defines who decides on how the partnership is uh, working, whether it's working, and when it comes time to, um, to end it. The main arguments in favor of private participation in education are, first, efficiency, the argument that the private sector can provide the same or better services uh, more efficiently. Second, that competition will lead to uh, better outcomes, more attention to quality, and reduction of costs. The other argument is that the private sector provides flexibility in terms of the um, hiring of personnel, in terms of changing the uh, curriculum and the delivery model. Um, another benefit is the risk sharing between the public and uh, private sector, which allows the public sector to concentrate more on other functions, uh, uh, their responsibilities. There are also arguments in favor of the private sector being more innovative, helping to, to find solutions to problems, increasing access, increasing um, the reach of services, and promoting uh, innovations that will improve the quality of education. The, the main arguments against private participation are that private institutions will select better students, easier to teach, and therefore they're, they're only more efficient because they selected uh, better students. The other argument is that private uh, participation will tend to uh, create a um, division between uh, groups in society with the better off going to private schools and the public schools educating more difficult to, um, to teach children. 